Baltimore's 24-hour news station. We are WBAL-TV 11. From Television Hill in Baltimore, this is WBAL-TV 11 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Menarson. And I'm Rod Daniels. At first, it was cigarette and alcohol billboards that angered residents of Baltimore's black community, particularly those in the inner city. Now it seems cigarette makers are using a new and some say a more dangerous strategy to keep their sales up. Matt Harrington found out that passing out free cigarettes by some tobacco distributors is targeting the most vulnerable people. <laughs> This was the scene outside the Murphy Homes high-rise public housing complex yesterday when this van pulled up and began distributing free cigarettes. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, buddy, buddy, please, no pictures. Is it illegal? No pictures, please. No pictures. Do you want the company here, right? Let him see it. What's the, what's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? What you doing, man? Man, don't take the big man. man. Don't be, they don't want to hear that, man. But once the employees of Lorillard, makers of Newport and other brands, saw our cameras, they stopped giving out the samples. And that made many in the crowd angry with us. So angry we had to leave. It's killing us. It's killing us. But they're going to give it to us free. And we're going to run to it. There's no doubt because we're looking at something free. Lorillard company officials were not available to comment about the reasons they target poor communities to give away free samples. But American Lung Association officials say it's an act of desperation. You have 434,000 deaths a year. You have 1.5 million people who are quitting smoking a year. And therefore, you've got an industry that is struggling um, to make profits and to keep the profit level high. And there's something else at work. Even cigarette company executives admit that in tough economic times like these, people smoke more cigarettes and drink more alcohol, especially in hard-hit areas like the inner city. And people here say the lure of free cigarettes is just too much to turn down. It's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. It's just like drugs. It's just like drugs. It's just like, here, here's some dope, but it's, it's illegal. It's killing us, killing the black people, I guess. I mean, because it's bad for your health. They already gave me one pack. I went in the store to get a, a pack of cookies. I came back out, they handed me another pack of cigarettes. I said, what y'all trying to do, kill me? It does pull people, and it does continue to um, enforce the addiction. So while deaths from lung cancer continue to hit hard in the black and poor communities, cigarette companies continue to target the young, the vulnerable, and the poor. Nat Harrington, WBAL, TV 11 News. We'd like to add that dispensing free cigarettes is not illegal as long as they are not given to minors.